Bad boys wanted to honk in the horn. Oh, I play guitar, so uh, Eddie Van Halen, watch out. I <laughs> My name is Damian Bachi, and I do a couple of guitar lessons rockabilly style on YouTube. And I get a lot of questions, and a lot of people ask me about um, how long I've been playing, and what gauge strings, and what equipment, how long I've been playing, um, what my influences are. And I think I'm just going to go over a little bit of, about myself, and some of my influences, and some of the equipment that I use, and answer a couple questions that um, a lot of people have asked me. Uh, I've been playing for guitar for about 23 years. Um, I've been playing roots music, rockabilly type uh, guitar for about 14. Uh, I toured, uh, I guess, America uh, in roots uh, bands for about um, six or seven years, and uh, started out about 98, 97 uh, with uh, uh, with two bands. I was in a, a jump blues swing uh, group called Rocket 88 that uh, did very well and um, we toured. I did a lot of touring with them and uh, I also was in a band called Blue Flame Combo um, that I had fronted and uh, we toured with that and I, I feel we were very successful uh, in uh, rockabilly uh, genre. Yeah so basically now I just kind of I just I just I just work uh, I ride my BMX bike uh, as much as I can and uh, take care of my daughter. Um, I like to have a good time, and uh, you know, I try to do these lessons and, and try to better myself on guitar whenever I can. I really don't have a lot of time uh, for guitar uh, anymore. It's a shame, but it's just the way things are things are going right now. So I stopped playing music uh, live um, in 2004. Uh, my last group was called Skinny D and the High Tones. Um, that was the last thing that I've done. I made a couple of cameo appearances with, with some of my friends' bands, but other than that, I, I won't play. I, I mean, I have played out, I'm not going to lie, but for the most part, uh, I am retired from the live music scene and bands in general. Um, I have a problem with my hearing, and uh, it's, I'm just, it's just something that I just won't, I'm just not doing anymore. So I really like doing these lessons because it's a way for me to get out uh, that thing that I'm missing on stage. Um, the type of uh, strings that I use on my uh, Gretsch are uh, 13 gauge. Uh, I had it strong when I first got my Gretsch. I have two Gretsches, a 6120 and a, a White Falcon. And when I first got them, I had them strong like, you know, Setzer kind of with slinkies on them. And I found that uh, I would always break strings and either it just felt like I was playing a Fender Strat or, or, or one of my Ibanez's. So what I had done was just put the 13 gauge on them. It felt like an acoustic guitar, but the tone, the sound that I got through with the amp, it just it was balls to the wall and a very, uh, very fat sound. So I kept on using those, and I you know wouldn't really break a lot of strings. And 
So that's that's what I, I put on those. And it also has a wound third too. So it's not like I can you know do a, do like a Chuck Berry bend. You know, it's, it, you know I'm sliding it because you know I just physically can't bend them. Um, I think if you did, you'd probably break the string. But I do use a uh, um, the G string is wound. Um, the amps that I use, I uh, use a few different kinds. Um, I believe though with anything with either guitars or amps that you you have to spend some money to have a, a good sounding product. I mean you have to be a good player too to sound well. But I don't. I wouldn't really want to be using like some sort of crummy crate and some um, silly like you know um, uh, cheesy guitar and, and want to play in a group. You know I always felt that you you know I everything that I do you, do, you know I always feel you need to have the best equipment to produce the best sound out of the you know the best player that you are. Um, so I use, uh, I have a Fender Hot Rod Deluxe amp, um, I have a couple Fenders, I know a lot of people use those, um, those amps work perfectly, uh, I also have a Vox that I use, um, I also use, um, pedals, now a lot of guys use, uh, Purists would have an Echoplex, I, I never have used that, I have used, um, the Boss Digital Delay that I have set, I mean, I'm just listening to it and got the right you know, slapback sound, and that's what I've used on all of my recordings, uh, the Boss Digital Delight pedal. Uh, in the 80s, I had a, a Boss Analog, and that was the best pedal I've ever owned, and uh, I'm still searching for one like that. But basically, any of the amps, Fender or, or Vox, you know, if you spend some good money on uh, on an amp, um, the, you'll be able to get the right sound if you just listen to what you're doing. Uh, obviously, I've always believed that uh, PV are horrible. Uh, I'm not trying to offend anybody.